Once, long ago, in the deep blue below, there was a kingdom. A king, a queen, and six sisters, princesses of the sea. The ocean realm was theirs, and the princesses were free to go wherever they wished, except for one place, the surface. Each princess on her 15th birthday was allowed to venture to the above, but only for one day. Finally, the time came, the littlest mermaid's 15th birthday, and what she saw above would alter her existence forever. A prince, a true love. When the prince fell, the little mermaid found herself so drawn to him Despite stories she had heard of the dangers above, she had to save him. She lingered over the prince, gazing at him. She wondered what this feeling was. What would it be like to be with him? To actually have legs? She had never felt this way before. As another human approached, she gave the prince one last look before descending back into the sea. She watched from behind a rock as the prince awoke. He opened his eyes, thinking that the one who stood before him had saved his life. The little mermaid was so sad. She had left her heart above and wondered if a mermaid could ever be with a human. She swam into the darkest depths of the sea where there lived a wizard. And she told the wizard of her love and her desperation for legs like those who lived above. The cunning wizard made her an offer. He said he would grant her a wish in exchange for one thing. Her soul. But if she were to go above and not be able to find love, her soul would be his until true love came. The little mermaid agreed. The promise was forged. The bond made. But upon finding her prince, she found his heart still belonged to the woman on the shore. The little mermaid was visited by the wizard who had come to collect on their agreement. She pleaded with the wizard, but it was too late. Above the sea, the wizard would keep her locked away, ensuring she would never find true love. And her power would be his. Forever. If I told you a secret, would you be able to keep it? Really, truly, yes. you would keep it? Yes, <laughs> I would keep my secret. Well, I don't remember the story exactly like that. Don't be silly, Grandmother. Everybody knows there's no such thing as mermaids. You wouldn't say that if you had met one. You met a mermaid? Yes. But you don't believe so. So why should I tell you the story? You want to hear it? Yes, 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 yes. This begins with a little, little girl. And she believed in mermaids and in fairies and in leprechauns and all magical creatures. And her name was Elle. Dear Dr. Malcolm, thank you for your preliminary diagnosis of my niece, Elle. Life has been difficult following the loss of her parents, yet somehow her spirits remain high, mostly due to her imaginative belief that she is somehow a mermaid, and that being the reason for her condition. But no doctor anywhere seems to know what truly ails her, only that her breathing patterns worsen. I fear her life may be in danger. I will continue to search in hopes that one day the mystery behind her condition is revealed and a cure is found. Gratefully yours, Cam. Cam, hurry. It's Elle. It's okay. Elle, it's okay. 
Push yourself that hard. I've told you. I know. It's just that everybody else was. Plain. We're going to find a cure. I promise. But until then, you'll have to be more careful. See that? What is it? Good morning, Miss Harris. Good morning, Margaret. Any calls for me? They're on your desk. Good morning, young man. Good morning, sir. How's the story going? Great. Well, I wanted to stop, but this just came in. I wanted to take priority. It's a cure-all sweeping the region. Uh, water from Mississippi said they have healing powers. Really? Healing water? And we followed stories like this before. Wood witches, woken mummies, uh, they never lead anywhere. No, not like this. Hundreds of people are testifying. But I... But nothing. All right, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but there's definitely a story here. And uh, possibly a cure for her. Look, Cam, I know it can't be easy coming from, how do you say it, across the pond. Already settled. Travel on accommodations. Don't just sit there. Get going. <laughs> Pack your bags. Thank you, sir. No, don't thank me. Thank uh, him. Dr. Locke's miracle mermaid elixir. journey from home. Elle seems to have turned her intrepidness for our little adventure into joyful excitement. Seeing the smile on her face only makes me want to believe. But my logical skepticism runs high of this Dr. Locke and his magic mermaid water. If only life were as simple as a made-up fairy tale. A 
38 Wood Street. This must be it. Welcome to Mississippi. Oh, let me help you with that. Oh, let me take this. Take this from you. Cameron it is, right? Journalistically speaking, yes, but you can call me Cam. <laughs> and who's this little darling? I know. Oh, aren't you just a precious <laughs> little thing? <laughs> Thank you. And polite, too. Come on now, let me show y'all that set. You're the beautiful home, Lorena. My family's owned this home for years. Let me show you around. Uh, over here is the living area. And straight through here, this is the kitchen. I always make these for you. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Huh? Thank so you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, come on, let me show you the rest of the house. This is the sleeping quarters. Not ain't much, but it's a bed and a roof. <laughs> it's perfect, Lorraine. Thank you. You're welcome. Be kind of nice to have some company. <laughs> well, I think we're going to like it here, Al. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I have been showing you guys the garden. He even has a tree house. Help! Help! Help, be careful. Isn't this kingdom beautiful? This princess should be more careful. Come on, Cam. <laughs> Peggy Jean. Cam, hey, I want you to meet Peggy Jean. Peggy Jean's one of my closest friends. It's very nice to meet you, Peggy Jean. It was very, very nice to meet you, too. <laughs> oh, who's this little nugget? I'm Elle. Elle. Aren't she the sweetest little apricot in the land? Look at you, those little cheeks and those so cute. You're like a bug in a rug. <laughs> <laughs> I have to excuse Peggy Jean. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't been around many people lately. But ever since that healing water fixed my leg, I'm just flitting around like a little social butterfly. <laughs> healing water? Mm. I'd love to talk to you about that. Why, sure. Lo Lorene knows where to find me, but I will be at the church all day long, and I will talk, talk, talk to you all about that healing water. And if you like, I can invite some other people, because I, I understand you're making a story. Peg, Peg Jean, Peg Jean, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow at the church. Yes, yes, I'll see you tomorrow okay. at the okay. church. Okay. okay. All right. She both. I'll, okay. see, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. You take care okay. now. Okay. All right. Come on, let's get some of this nice fruit I told you about. Howdy, Eugene. Howdy, Lorene. All right. You say you like that So you really do know everyone in town, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I saw of those that have come here about that healing water. I understand that's why you're here, too. You ready? Let's go. Come on. What's your name? I'm Al. Al. Can you read mine? Of course, child. 
You are special in all the world. There's a powerful magic in you. A spirit of the ocean. And what about you? You don't believe in all this magic, do you? I'm skeptical. Come, see. There is some magic that is real. And some that is illusion. Beware of the one who will try and take your most precious treasure. You must not let him. Well, the show's about to start. You don't want to miss this. Thank you. You're welcome. is very strange. Gentlemen, come one, come all, to the shop of art. Feast your eyes on that which you've never seen. It is said that they are pure myth, pure legend. But my dear friends, let me introduce you to your dreams. Alive, breathing, and swimming. The Little Mermaid of the Mississippi! Just, uh, cheap tricks, Al. There are no cheap parlor tricks here. Fairy flaws! One reason. Thank you. The fairies worked really hard to make this. I'm sure they did. Sorry to bother you. I, I, 
I was just wondering if I could buy some... Can you read? Sold out! What? It's just, um, sold out to when? Till further notice. <laughs> oh, he is polite. <laughs> I don't think you're big enough. And so. I'm stronger than the strong man. I mean, have you seen these? Bam, bam. Woo! Wow. Well, look at this. I've never seen a freak so pretty. Oh, she isn't a freak. She's a fake. Whatever she is, she sure is sweet. Hey, leave her alone. What you gonna do about it? You better take a step back. I'm pretty scared, boy. Big girl now. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So, I'll believe the mermaid was real? She knew it was real. I knew too. And what about Cam? Cam, like most grown ups, needed more proof of the impossible. And that's the thing about what you believe. There's a whole other world out there to see. And Cam just had to figure that out. I still can't believe I saw an actual mermaid. She was so beautiful, and I know she was real. Can we see her again tomorrow? Can I meet her? No, we talked about that. What you saw was just a trick. You believe what you want, and I'll believe what I want. And I believe she was real. All right. Good night. Ken? Yes? I wish Mom and Dad could have seen her. But wait! How can the mermaid live if she's not in the sea? Have you ever heard of a sea lamprey? Well, it's a fish that can live in both river and sea. Let you know that nothing is impossible, especially here in Erie, Mississippi. It has that certain magic about it. That's a good one. You both will enjoy that one. So what happened after you drank the water? Well, I'm not crazy anymore. <laughs> I was deaf as can be before I drank the water. But you haven't been experiencing any side effects. I can do this. What happened after you drank the water? Well, I was having migraines. And now I just get headaches. It's real magic, I think. Ooh, magic! Magic! Magic, huh? Believe it or not, I was darn near bald before I took the water. 
I never thought I found love again. Now I seem to love everyone. <laughs> what do you think about the magician? Oh, I think he's wonderful. So dark and mysterious and handsome too. I prefer the mermaid. Sorry, what, what was the question? Probability. Hoax. Hello? Cam Harrison. Thank you for seeing me on such short notice. Please, have a seat. So, Mr. Locke, is it? Firstly, I wanted to ask you about the healing water. Can you tell me what it does for people? By now, you must have asked my customers. What did they tell you? They have some unusual stories, yes, but... You do not believe. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Where is it from? How do you make it? The first rule of magic is to never reveal the how or the why. But it's not magic, is it? Surely, if it works, there must be some medical formula. You do not believe, then why are you here? Apologies if I've offended you. I'm just writing for my readers. Let's try some other questions. Can you tell me about... The Mermaid? It appears your time is up, Cam Harrison. Please. The blue fairy makes the blue flower. The pink fairy makes the pink flower. The white fairy makes the white flower. And, and the, the yellow, yellow fairy, fairy makes, makes the, the yellow, yellow flower. flower. Yes, I know. I know. We really shouldn't be out here much longer, Al. I don't think it's a good idea. Everyone's going to be looking for us, and I, I don't want to get stuck out in the middle of the woods. about a little girl born on land, blessed with the heart of a mermaid. Right, uh, okay. So what were you doing in the woods? Is one not allowed to go for a walk in the woods? So how... What's your name? Elizabeth. I'm Elle. This is Cam, he's my uncle. she was real.
strike me then. As you wish, darling. Enough! That is enough for today. But I cannot promise what tomorrow may bring. As for you, do not meddle in my affairs. It's okay, girl. Why are you so afraid? seen in a very long time. She may be the one we are searching for. What are we going to do? We wait. Now, leave me. I'm trapped and drowning Here for everyone to see They don't notice Just the way it goes, but I'm holding on. I know a day will come when I can be myself again, and I hope someone will love me when this story ends. Round in circles. Hello. 
just one thing And the crowd lines up again Give a smile, girl You make them happy Bring your parents, bring your friends Silly that a main attraction Would long so much for love Guess that's just the way it goes But I'm holding on I know a day will come When I can be myself again And I hope someone will love me When this story ends If someone could Someone write for me What are you doing here? Sorry, uh, the place was closed and I, um... He shouldn't be here. He knows everything. Who knows? What are you talking about? Cam Harris. I just had some further questions about the show. About the healing water. I wish I could help you. Truly, I do. But we are closed. Now, if you do not mind. I really hope not to find you trespassing again. Something strange is happening. And whatever secrets are. Go. Go. This here is Pratted, Mississippi. Well, you heard what the man said. On the board. We'll see a mermaid in the river. Keep your eyes posted. You got it, Captain. Well, while you two are mermaid watching, I'll be in the study doing some actual work. Whatever you say, first mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What are you working on? Nothing. Uh, it's just, uh, just some story. I. I like stories. I'm, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. 
says you don't believe in mermaids. It's a work in progress. I wasn't really expecting someone to be, uh, to be rummaging through my things. Well, you're the one who's always following me. <sighs> you know, um, I'm, su I'm surprised you're on this boat at all. Then again, you must get tired of the water. Be an actual mermaid and all. The water is a part of me, I guess. Part of us all. And when I was little, my mother would swim with me. Deep into the ocean, further than most would go. I remember looking through the water, wondering what it must be like on the other side. When I was born, our family would go to the beach every summer. I remember wishing we'd get caught in a whirlpool, stuck in a time warp, and the summer would just, just last forever. It's my favorite memory of us. Before Elle got sick. And the accident happened. Now I, I just want to keep her safe. My father was the same. She's special. She's strong. Try and remember that. She's all I have left. The reason I'm here. The healing water. Is it real? I believe there's magic in a lot of things. Water being one of them. But not his. Not Locke's. The dance is starting! Elizabeth? Come dance with me. together. that man do you understand me don't you let him near the apricot she will rot don't you let that apricot rot do you understand me staring at me like that because I want to see you don't you want me to see you it's not that it's just um a little you know intense 
Well, if you don't look, then how do you see? How do you really see a person? We should be free to open our eyes and look. You can't take that away from us. Who can't? Lock, you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You know, you don't have to apologize all the time. You're right, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, I'm... <laughs> Beautiful. Looks like the wheel is stuck. We'll, we'll have to wait for high tide. I died. Yeah. Sorry, I have to go. Wait, Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. You're afraid. They always are. You're... How can this be? You won't understand. I... Uh, I want to. It happened a long time ago. I was free. I lived with my family in the sea. I was tricked. He took a part of me, and he has it still. So wherever he goes, I must. We're bonded. Look. For years, he's taken me from town to town. Selling the water I swim in is healing water. So that's where he gets it. You. Yes, but you shouldn't get involved. I think it's too late for that. Why can't you just run away? Escape him? Connected. As long as he has part of me with him, there's no escape. There has to be something, a, a way somehow. There is. You can't go back to him. You don't understand. I have to. I'm his. No, Elizabeth. I'm sorry, Cam. <laughs> so Cam believed now, right? He did. He had to believe what his eyes saw, despite every logical bone in his body. He couldn't deny the truth. And kiss was still in his mind. But there was much that he did not understand, especially when it came to Locke.
Thank God. I've had half the town looking for you. Why? What happened? Where is he? I, uh, I, I was wondering what, what happened to you, and I, I left Al in, in, in the room playing. And then, and then when I, when Marie, I went back, what happened? and then when I went back, what she, happened? she went out the window was open. <laughs> Have you trapped him here? Did you do something wrong? No. He said I had the heart of a mermaid. And that was a powerful kind of magic. You do. I see it too. But be careful. He's not like you and I. He's a bad man. Do you understand? When I was young, I was just like. And when I'm older, I want to be just like you. Oh, he's coming. Okay, you'll be okay. Just remember what I said. Go. I cannot. You see, she is the one I've been searching for. You don't need her. You have me. You. I plan to rid you from this earth and take your powers once and for all. Elizabeth tells me you wish to be like her. Is this true? What if I could make it so? If I could grant you any wish you so desire. In exchange for a simple thing. Anything? Anything you can dream of. You won't trick me. You're not like us. You just want to control everyone. In time, you will find that I can be most persuasive. I know where she is. It's 
All right, come with me. I said you would come for me. Elizabeth told you. You won't stop coming. Not now. We have to save her. We have to save Elizabeth. We will help. She can't leave without her soul. If she does, she dies. Lock keeps it hidden somewhere safe. I don't know where it is. I think I know where that might be. Easy. He's with us. It's time. We can trust him. to hurry, I can't hold it for very long. We have to hurry. I can't. How is that possible? It won't last long. It'll be high tide soon. Let's go.
You okay? So what now? We have to get you to the ocean. How long do we have before time begins again? With luck, it's uncertain. That we need to move. The train should be a straight shot from the station. Cargo trains run toward the ocean. Hurry. Cam, wait. Cam, I'm too old to be jumping on trains. I just hold you back. One of a kind, Marie. Thank you. Hey. Good luck, Cam. Take your pair. Ooh. The train is picking up pace. We have to hurry. <laughs> This belongs to you. Thank you. We had to do something. Seventeen years. You found me when I was young. Promise you could help me. Help me not be so... different. He promised me the same. Found me trying to block out all the world's thoughts and said that he could fix it. I just listened to him. There is nothing wrong with who you are. You must really miss your families. I'm glad you have this one. Come one, come all. Let me introduce you to your dreams. Alive, breathing, swimming. The Little Mermaid of the Mississippi. train headed for the ocean. Boys are going after him right now. Stop them! This time, it's for all. You got it, boss.
close by. There are no keys. We don't need keys. Stay with Elizabeth. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I've got the medication. I... It's not here. Stop! We left the medicine on the train. Come on, let's go. Oh, we're going, let's go. No! I'm staying, I'm staying. Come on, Al, come on, let's go, come on. We're I'm going. Staying. Elizabeth, she's my friend. Stop treating me like a little girl. I can make it further. Just trust me. This once. All right, Al. I trust you. We have to go. <clears throat> He's close. Keep moving. I'll take care of him. No, you can't. You don't have a choice. Now go. Go! I've been waiting a long time for this. Man against monster. Use words. There's nobody here to save you now. You neither. We have to hurry, she's changing!
need to get to the ocean. What about you? I can take care of our old friend here. Buy you some time. I would be cruel, like you. You know better than anyone. No two souls are the same. Indeed they aren't. One is always darker. You won't win this time. Let it be light versus night. <laughs> no power greater than mine. She doesn't belong to you! Nothing in this world is free, Cam Harrison. It's all right. It's all right. I won't let them take you. She's good. She's not like you. I won't let you have her! too weak. It's the only way. are forever! Not you or anyone else on this earth can defeat me. I believe. She needs water. It's all right. It's all right.
the vial. Elizabeth, please. Come on. Water is magic, just like her love. Whenever she can't breathe, all she need do is swim. See, you found your story. Think anyone will believe that? All that matters is that you do. Come outside and play! All the fairies are out today. And they love mermaids. Then we mustn't keep them waiting. No! <laughs> Come on. Is, is that you do. And she gave him the biggest gift a person could ever give another. Love. Well, from that time on, no matter where he went, she was with him. Mm -hmm. Now that's another story. Okay. Mm -hmm. What happened? 
happened to Elle? <coughs> Are you okay, Grandmother? Just time for a swim. How is Stuart?